What's going on everyone? This is THC Samuel. Welcome to the THC Samuel Show. This is episode number two. Thank you so much if you watched episode number one about the Bear Bricks. Got a really exciting piece for episode two we're going to talk about. Again, thank you for tuning in and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. So I'm super pumped about this episode. I kind of, I guess, pushed this piece kind of up the schedule a little bit in terms of when I was planning on uh, showcasing this piece. This is a glass functional ray gun made by the legend and friend, big shout out to Darby Holm. Uh, I absolutely love this piece. Uh, I'm going to go into detail, whoa, did you guys hear that? Um, I'm going to go into detail uh, about why I love it, why I bought it, uh, what it really looks like, and uh, just kind of about a little bit about this functional, functional piece of glass art. So before I get into like some close-ups and a little bit more detail about the piece in specific, I'm going to give a little intro to Darby. Um, Darby is amazing. I've written an article about Darby in Hemp Connoisseur magazine that was published a few years ago. Uh, it was actually available in Barnes & Noble back in the day. Um, but Darby is a legend in the glass world. He is an OG artist. He's been blowing glass for, I would have to double check with him to make sure the accuracy, but over 25 years. And uh, he's really just one of the OGs of the game. His work is unbelievable. And uh, we'll just kind of go into some specifics of this piece, why I bought it, and uh, why I love it. And uh, we can kind of maybe talk in the comments and let me know what you think about it. And so there's actually a little bit of a backstory with this piece. Let me see if I can get a little zoom in. It's actually really tiny, but it's really epic. This piece was made as a custom by Darby in 2016 uh, for an art collector. And at the end of the year, uh, when the piece was finished and it came time to handle that transaction, uh, the collector was no longer interested or able to purchase the piece. And then he decided to make uh, the absolutely epic matching bamboo ray gun stand. Let me see if it'll get a focus on that. You'll get close-ups in a little bit, but the stand is absolutely incredible. And uh, he released it as the gun and the set at the start of 2017. And a friend of mine who owned a gallery in California uh, was the one who actually purchased it from him. And then I decided to jump on it immediately. And I, I just kind of knew that I wanted it to be in my collection. So I bought the piece in 2017 and it was at the time and probably definitely still is one of the nicest pieces in my entire glass collection. I break it out and use it every once in a while. The piece is totally functional and actually it's got proper balance. Darby is absolutely epic so it has a stand but it can also balance on its own. It's really it's really absolutely sick. So if you wanted to hypothetically use it um, you could put some put a little bit of water in there and then uh, there's an attachment right here uh, that basically allows you to use it as a functional a functional piece of glass and you use there's a little mouthpiece right at the top it's a super, super fun piece. If you didn't know it was functional and you were looking at it, you probably would have no idea. So with Darby's uh, work uh, has continued to just increase in value over the last few years and just over the course of his entire career. If I remember correctly, I think I purchased this piece for around $4,000. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm sure I would sell it for substantially more now. I think it's worth more now. Um, but I don't plan on ever selling it. It's in my collection for a reason. Um, again, if you're into art and you're starting to collect art, I would really suggest doing it out of love and out of passion. And buying pieces from artists and mediums that just really speak to you for whatever reason. Um, that's really just some personal advice and uh, it's just a reason why I'll probably never sell it and I think the piece is just totally worth every penny. And so again, there are a few really epic things about this piece, especially personally. Um, when I first got it, uh, I would bring it around with me to certain events and certain shows and certain musical events. And uh, it's actually in some a little behind the clips uh, of the Chris Webby uh, Twist Again music video. Uh, Action Bronson actually also had the chance to, to rage it a little bit and take a few dabs. Uh, so it's really just has a lot of personal meaning to me, a lot of fun memory, and it's a piece that I really, really love. And uh, when it comes to Darby's work, it's his orange bamboo... Uh, his bamboo dichro work and that dichro work is really the best in the game. I'll get a close-up again of the entire piece so we can really see it gleaming but it's it's tr it's really really just like wild to look at and uh, like I said before if you didn't know if you were looking at it for the first time and you didn't know that it was functional you'd probably just think it was some kind of very fancy kind of ornate uh, you know glass gun. And actually, one more little detail about this piece before I get into the close-up of this beauty, but here is the first close-up of this ray gun. Um, I bought this cap and that Darby actually signed to me back in the day when I traveled out to Oregon to write the article about him. 
and I bought this little cap before I ever thought I was going to be able to afford or scoop uh, one of his actual pieces. So it's just kind of like a little example, I guess, to everybody out there that if you think uh, high-end art or glass or kind of any, really anything in life that you think is kind of unattainable, it's it's about the little steps and uh, you can definitely take the steps to get there and then, uh, you know, get the things that you want and achieve some of the things that you want. So now I'm kind of going to show you guys just a, th a basic kind of 360 of the piece. Also, big shout out to Action Bronson. This is a Fuck That's Delicious. Uh, mood mat, so big shout out. I've been keeping this piece kind of matches really well on this mood mat since I've gotten it But the piece is absolutely Incredible. I love it. I love looking at it. I love having it in my cabinet Like I said if you didn't know that it was a functional piece of glass You'd probably have no idea if you were looking at it for the first time actually tell me uh, if you guys if this is your first time seeing this piece uh, let me know in the comments, you know, if you saw this for the first time, would you have guessed that uh, it was functional or would you think that it was just uh, just a sculpture? Uh, I'd love to hear that. So let's let's start that discussion down in the comments. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of another close up and just do another 360. And I'm probably going to pull out my cell phone because it really helps showcase the gleam uh, on the on the dichro work. The dichro work is really unbelievable. And uh, it's like a little functional gun, bamboo, you know, kind of rainforest vibe. The piece is just, it's so sick. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors, too. Actually, this is probably, being totally honest, my favorite color in all of glass. Darby's bamboo, orange, is just, like, I don't know. I don't think it gets much better than that. Obviously, I'm, I can't wait to showcase some other pieces, but Darby's bamboo is, like, right there on top for me. I absolutely love it. So here's another little close-up of this. I'll get a zoom. I'll have to switch lenses and get you guys a real proper zoom so you can see the dichro. But the, the gun is absolutely unbelievable. If you went to hold it like a gun, you know, pow pow. It's super, super cool. Just one of the, one of the I guess, most unique sculptures uh, in my entire collection. And uh, please, again, in the comments, let me know what you think. If you're aware of glass, if you collect glass, let me know. If you love Darby already, let me know. If this is your first time ever seeing something like this, let me know. You know, I really want to just start a conversation and start a show about art of all forms. I absolutely love art of various types, and uh, this is absolutely definitely one of my favorites in my collection. So here we go, guys, on a full kind of macro 360 on the piece. The piece is actually really small but it's just gorgeous. Let me see if I can get that to look at that dichro work. It's really just crazy. And the stand pops even more. You can see the stand dichro, the color on the dichro on the stand pops even a little bit, a little bit more than, uh, than the dichro on the gun itself. And uh, I'll do a full, uh, full macro of the stand as well. Absolutely beautiful. So now I'm going to do another just little 360 of it, except I'm going to do it handheld so you guys can see. Here's the bottom, the trigger, absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get that focus on the signature. There it is, Darby 2016. Piece is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is probably my favorite color in glass. Absolutely love it. So now we have the stand, the custom stand, and it's absolutely insane. Look at the dichro work. It pops off even more than what's on the actual piece itself. I absolutely love it. It's crazy. It's actually a little hard to get it to focus because the dichro pieces are so tiny. There we go. Look at that. It's just a beautiful piece and the gun sits on top of this, you really can't beat it for just a piece of creative, creative functional glass work. It's really incredible. Huge shout out to Darby. So here is a little full pan of the piece. I'm trying to move as slowly as I can. I have to get some more equipment to really be able to do macros like this, as dope as I would like to. But this is absolutely a stunning piece. Look at the dichro work, that center band and then all the way up to the top. Again, one of my favorite pieces. Love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode two of the THC Samuel Show. We just talked about this epic Darby Home ray gun. It's from 2016 slash 2017. 
Uh, it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection. If you guys watching could do me a huge favor, hit that like button down there. It's somewhere down there. I'm still working on my video editing, so I'll try to put something in the video, but it's down there. Please hit that like button. And then also smash the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to talk about art. So it would definitely do me a big, uh, a big courtesy if you guys would hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone has a great day and cheers until episode three.